Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode. Actually, it's the last episode of the NOLPS series. The series where I tried to do every track in Impopable without using uh, special agents, lab upgrades, premium and specialties. And uh, for some of the tracks in the past games, I used the lab upgrades and only that. And only for tar pits, I had to use also some special agents because uh, this track was designed to be unbeatable, especially in Impopable without any kind of help. But now is the turn of the last of the extreme tracks and the last track of the whole game. That's going to be Bluntonium Lab. And uh, of course, I got the lab on. Um, but I'm going to uh, do it without special agents because this track is uh, doable without uh, any special agents. So, yeah, let's go. It's very simple here three paths. Not very long, but still longer than tar pits, and uh, they, as usual, they come they come close to the center, so they come close to each other near the center, and uh, yeah, that's just it. So, um, getting an engineer somewhere in a useful position where you can at least uh, focus more two paths than the other two is going to be okay. For example, a, a spot like this one here, I can focus all the three waves. As you see, the first balloon come out from the top right side. I'm going to just do it again so you can see. See, so the first balloon comes from here, the second one and the third one, and they then just rotate. So here we go. I got the one zero upgrade for the engineer. And the center you can see here, the really nice thing is that the engineer being in the center of the map is going to mean that all these sentry guns should spawn in a spot where they can at least attack two paths of the three. And that, of course, is going to help overall. And uh, yeah, I should definitely be able to complete all the, um, all the rounds until I can get one farm. And probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place another engineer. Um, or maybe getting a dark monkey, I don't know what is going to be better. I'm just controlling here the rounds, these greens. Just being careful here of popping everything. Okay, so that's the first uh, farm. And I got it in the round, so I'm going to wait for the two bunches of banana. And yeah, that's just it, you know. It's just uh, doing normal stuff here. Um, let's see how I do I'm against round 12. And then I'm going to decide if it's better to just leave the engineer 1-0 doing its job. Or if it's better to, yeah, probably it's better to start placing some other towers here. I would really like to get another engineer before getting, you know, that monkey. Or maybe I can get two dark monkeys. Hmm. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to get two dark monkeys here. So I'm going to get one here. And one here. I want to place these towers as close as I can to the, to their, to the path they're closest to. So in that way, for example, see the center here is still free. So I can get a tower there. Okay, here we go. With these two dark monkeys, I should definitely be popping every balloon until I can get another farm, at least. These dark monkeys with their range are in range of all the different paths. Uh, and uh, yeah, one balloon pass there, whatever. And as I said in my past video, but I don't know if you listened to it because it was at the very end. Um, I'm thinking next of doing something like a mastery mode, uh, like a troll mode, but not troll, but like a mastery mode in fun. So uh, I'm going to once again go... Uh, through all the mastery madness 
Oh, I have uh, here some rose, some free rose spikes, so I have to sell them. Okay, so I'm I think I'm gonna just place them all here. Okay, here we go. I got, I got fifty uh, free from the daily reward. I think the daily chest. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, nice. That's one, one three dark monkey. Probably I'm gonna get first the two zero engineer, and then I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna get another farm, and then upgrading the other that monkey. So that's my goal here. And uh, yeah, as I was saying, doing like a mastery mode, in impopable of course, but like using a ton of cash. Um, for example, using instead of using farms, right? I'm gonna be using um, something like uh, injections to have the cat. My cash is gonna be the cash I get from the balloons and the injections, just like that. And uh, yeah, that could be fun. Okay, here we go. So I got some trouble there holding all the balloons. So I'm gonna just upgrade the range of this, that monkey, and uh, trying to get the other one here also. Okay, that should be it. Uh, I don't like the fact that all these sent you can see are four here in the left side, so useless. I mean, they could spawn somewhere around like here, two, like three here and three here but they're all here in this left side. So that's why I leave, I have my right side here a bit weak. Yeah. Okay, so here, the only thing that you're gonna have to be careful about is the glue gunners, okay? So the leads. Where is the best spot for the glue gunners? So as you see, there are three paths. So for example, run 28, four leads. So one from here, one, one, and one. Of course, you can get, for example, one glue gunner like here, and this glue gunner can still glue like this path and this path too, but it's gonna glue them very late. See, for example, this bottom path, it would be gluing somewhere around here. So that's not enough because the lid is gonna get glued, but then until the glue can pop the layer, then the, all the blooms are gonna be far from where my towers, my poppage towers are, and that is gonna be bad. So that's why I'm gonna get here in this, uh, all in these intersections, I'm gonna get the glue gunners so that they can start gluing from very far. And uh, in this way, of course, that is gonna help the towers in the middle to pop the balloons faster as soon as the glue uh, pops the layer. So that's uh, what I'm gonna do here. So let's get the second one around here. And I don't have enough cash for the last one, so I'm just gonna leave one lead there from the left side. I'm gonna have to control it here with the road spikes. Okay, no big deal. Okay, whatever. There we go. And another one here. Okay, that should be it here. Um, let's go. Also three glue gunners here, very effective in gluing a lot of different balloons coming from all the sides. So that's also one cool thing about getting three glue gunners, for example. Oh, I didn't, I forgot to get the farm here in time, whatever. I'm just gonna get it now. Okay, here we go. Nice. Uh, I could try here, go for a... Go for a 2-0 farm, because next round is just... Um, it's just camos, and I have two towers that can pop them. So I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna just get a 2-0 farm here, and let's see 
let's hope I can pop all this. Yeah, it seems I can, so better. Okay, so here I have to start thinking bigger. So where I want to place my village. Of course, I want to place the village in the most central position possible. But of course, the village requires some room to actually uh, get it. So what I'm going to do is probably I'm going to be selling one of these duck monkeys. And I'm going to be getting something like a ninja and a bomb at the sides of the village. So for example, getting selling this duck monkey, getting a village here. All right. Then getting, for example, uh, a ninja here. Okay, for example, and then a bomb here and something like that. So uh, let's see where I can get this ninja. So probably I'm going to place the village there in the downside. And remember, then I have to place also some blue chippers. So I'm going to try to place here this ninja in the very center of the map because the ninja is going to be the machine that is going to do most damage to the balloons in general. So I'm just gonna place it in the center. Here we go. Um, and uh, actually I would really like to sell this dark monkey so I can check out the village. So I could also place some villages here, you see in the sides. Um, could be good here. Get bomb here. Mm. Yeah, but the problem is, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Here we go. Yeah, th doing this, so getting a village in the center is a lot better because see now the range of the village, I have also all these little spots here, here and here, all available under the village. And that is gonna be huge. So to uh, the fact that I sold the one that monkey is gonna mean that I'm gonna be needing this ninja to get three two. Uh, otherwise, I will be losing in terms of popping, you know, because I sold the one two three to that monkey. Okay, that could have gone wrong. Oh no. Okay, my bad there. <laughs> And here I have a free bomb, so let's just sell it. And here the bomb, it doesn't matter where you want to place it. Because remember, uh, then I'm gonna be getting some balloon chippers. So the balloon chippers are gonna start concentrating the balloons like near the center. And uh, that's why, uh, and I also gonna get some, probably here I'm gonna get a nice tower or maybe by selling the engineer or this darn monkey. So it doesn't matter where I really place this bomb. I'm gonna just place it here, but it doesn't really matter. And I have to start upgrading also these uh, farms. But after getting the three zero bomb. Okay, here we go always get the bomb in close so that it's almost guaranteed that you're not going to be missing so you can uh, uh, use the fact that the frag bombs are going to explode and they're going to do damage to blooms in an area okay i got scared there but probably it wasn't needed okay let's get another uh two zero farm here I'm going to get here some range for the towers under the village. Here we go, for example, especially this ninja. And I'm going to start getting some blue chippers now, even if it's just around 39. I want some blue chippers in action. So, um, so yeah, see, there are three paths. So one from here, one from here, one from here. So in this case, I have room here near the village, so I'm just going to place a balloon chipper here. See? Uh, I'm going to place also a balloon chipper there in the top side, but a bit more here in the left side, see? So that with this balloon chipper, I can... I can uh, also control the balloons coming from this side, so not only the balloons coming from this side. 
just because the fact that I got the bomb here, so I can get a, a Bloom Cheaper there. Just because of that. Okay, here we go. I should get here the next to zero farm without any big problems. I should get all these ceramics done easy. Uh, the village one one. Here we go. I'm probably now getting the Blan Jinsu, so the 4-2 Ninja upgrade. Here we go. This Ninja now is gonna do such a good damage to all the Bloons because he's right in the center of the map. So very, very nice. And yeah, remember the first, the camo came from here. So the first mob is gonna come up from here. So I'm gonna upgrade this Bloon Shipper first. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. I think this map uh, is uh, pretty much done. Uh, with the extra cash I got, I'm gonna just place a village. So I am already uh, prepared for get to get the farms there. Three zero. I should definitely get enough cash to get the Bloom cheaper for zero here. So uh, that's why I placed the village. And uh, yeah, after getting the Bloom Shipper, it's just uh, a repetition of the gameplays I've done for all the other tracks, really. It's not that different. Now I need to focus on getting like the village to one, getting the bomb for two, getting at least one of these glue gunners to two, and then start getting some 3-0 farms. And uh, that's it. Getting more Bloom Shippers, then getting some heavy damage towers, getting the ice tower for around 63. And uh, the job is done. So, okay, here I want to get the bomb upgraded. Here we go. I got the village already. Uh, I got the Bloom Shippers here in this right side, so I'm gonna upgrade this glue gunner here in the left side and uh, yeah I mean I can start getting some uh, three zero farms here why not after getting the second three zero farm though I'm gonna get the the other brun cheaper so this brun cheaper here for two um and yeah so the gluganos probably later on i'm gonna sell one maybe one gluganer because right now i have a lot of other towers that can pop lead so i don't need the gluganos anymore to pop the leads but more to slow the balloons and uh, once you start getting some second path upgrades for the gluganers one gluganer start start gluing a lot of balloons so you don't need that many glue gunners to glue most of the blooms. So uh, yeah, that's just one thing to remember. So probably here I was thinking, uh, I got all the glue gunners here under the range of the village. So probably I got, uh, I could sell this glue gunner so I can get a, a bloom cheaper there. Because can I get here another one? It seems I can't. So probably that is gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna just sell the glue gunner on this side, just because in this way I can get a blue cheaper here uh, without, you know, having any weird spots. Here we go. These two glue gunners now I have to upgrade both. And yeah, let's get the factory right now. So I should definitely have a ton of cash here. Okay, I could spare one farm to zero, so I'm happy about that. Here we go. And just now I can, I could place the farms here wherever, 
but I want to place them back here because in this way I can the bananas are not gonna get inside this side here where it's really hard to get them Uh, round 56, okay, so I have still time to go for the camo round, camo lead round. Okay, here we go, nice. Okay. I uh, just got there, 230 farms, why not? Uh, probably now is just a village and another 30 farm, why not? And for next round, I just need to get the Bloom Cheaper, another Bloom Cheaper, three, um, four, two actually, for the BFB round. And I still have a bit of cash left. Um, so next round, I'm gonna get another uh, factory. And maybe I can spare one, no. Okay, better, because in this way, I could get valuable bananas right away. So all these boxes that I'm getting are worth 600 cash. And that's quite a lot. Okay, here we go. So I have room here for another room cheaper, right? Here, side here, I should have. Uh, okay, there is there. Okay, let's just place it so I don't forget about it. And I'm gonna sell here. Uh, actually, the the that monkey, and I'm gonna place in its spot. The wait, what? Okay, here we go. The ice tower. Nice. Very big range, getting every every lane, hitting every single balloon, and uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, I'm just gonna get here another balloon shipper for two. Um, here we go, and uh, so I'm prepared for on sixty four and sixty five. Uh, in terms of having the amount of Bloom Cheapers necessary. And that's it. So I think I'm gonna just get here the amount of farms that I need to get. So two more farms here. Now with the ice tower, I'm really safe in terms of the fact that as soon as the mobs are destroyed by the, or the BFPs are destroyed by the balloon shippers, the ceramics are gonna get automatically slowed by the ice tower. So uh, there's really no way that the balloons can sneak through my bomb, my ninja and the other balloon shippers still. So yeah, it's pretty much GG right now that's it another factory and I'm gonna get now the last one and uh, here as you can tell using uh, aces you know it's not a good idea because the balloons come from very different directions and uh, that's why i'm gonna use instead uh, some apaches so i can sell this village now here we go of course i'm gonna try to get the apaches as far as i can but still in range of this village two three so let's see for example around here let's see if i can place two so that's one 
I'm going to actually place it here. See? Or there. Yeah, that's better. And then lock it in place again in all the tracks where the paths come from different directions. It's pointless to place the helis on pursuit mode because they're going to just bounce back and forth between the different paths. Instead, getting a good spot and just locking the hell in place is going to improve a lot the amount of damage and utility that the heli has. So that's one heli. I'm going to place one there. I'm going to place probably another one here. Uh, let's see there another. Actually there I want to place some super monkeys. I want to place like for example one super monkey here, one here and one here. Could be a nice idea. Or maybe like here, here, here and here. Uh, let's see if I can fit another one here. No. I can one there, but I just want to use the whatever. I'm just gonna go with two right now. I'm gonna upgrade into a pasture. Then probably I'm gonna increase this village uh, range by getting it to four, and uh, see uh, where I can place the last heli there to control the waves. Let's go fast forward here in the rounds. There's nothing anymore to fear about this track so I'm gonna just get through the rounds e uh, faster from now until round 84 with four boon shippers now it's probably I'm gonna be needing something more some more boon shippers for round like 81 84 but that's really far away from now so I'm gonna just keep it simple So that's one there. So, so I got now two brun shippers for each of the beginning of the path. So two brun shippers specifically focused on the on some paths so that should definitely be enough here until for rounds like uh, 81 82 84 with a lot of mob class blooms uh, okay let's get now the 2-4 village so that I can get for example an Apache somewhere around here very far away nice And let's just place it here. Here we go. Lock it in place. And now it's just the turn of the super monkeys. I'm gonna sell this engineer so that I don't have the sentry guns spawning around and uh... Okay, so one is gonna go here. I could go like one there, one here, and one here. Why not? You know, in the in those spots. Uh, so the first of my guys gonna come up from here. So one, two, three, four, and five. So actually, two of my guys are gonna come up from here and two from here. So probably this spot is better to get a sun god, and instead in the other two, I'm gonna get a uh, robot monkeys. So yeah. That's it. I can probably now just sell here and get the upgrades with the cash I got from selling the farms. I got the village already to four, so that's one I think already upgraded. Um, the hell is here. Uh, Bloom shippers. Do I need more here? Is the question. I got two for each side, so it's six total. I don't think uh, I don't need any more blue chippers, so I'm just gonna keep it that way. 
um, probably maybe placing one here closer to where the two of my gods are gonna spawn in round 85 maybe here and like here also maybe it's not so such a bad idea but from the left side where only one of my guys is gonna is gonna come out I don't really care okay so that should be it and they also got the lab um, the monkey monkey village activated ability to use and every single tower is under the range of the village so uh, that should be game over and yeah with this the knob series ends hope you guys enjoyed the series i uh, hope you could uh, use some of the gameplays i used to complete the tracks sadly some of the tracks were so hard that i had to use the lab uh, the lab upgrades but uh, I try to do every single gameplay with my best strategy and uh, really the best I could find and uh, yeah so this series now end and I'm gonna probably start another totally new series uh, about mastery mode but about like just using uh, not using farms, but I'm going to be using injections as farms. So uh, that could be fun. And uh, here we go. So that's Bluntonium Lab here in Impopable, the last track to do. Hope you guys enjoyed and see ya. Bye bye.